Rene Garcia, and I'm a divorce and recovery coach for men. Think of me as your expert, your advisor during these, well, let's call it what it is, these fucked up times, that's what it is. I get paid to advise men on how to come out of this process with as little expense and as much custody possible. Because let's face it, when it comes to divorce, men, we get our asses kicked. Then there's also the recovery part. And that's to get you excited about your, your journey, the one that you're about to embark on, to stay relevant and introduce you to your new single life. Because as Churchill said, never let a good crisis go to waste. And divorce, uh, that's a crisis. You need a coach, you just don't know it. Make divorce your bitch and schedule a free 90 minute consultation with me. Just click on the link here or in the comment section of this video and click on it. Make sure you do because no bullshit here. It's gonna be one of the most impactful calls that you're going to make in years. While well, at it, join our free and confidential Facebook group. It's about growth, also in the link provided. By the way, I am transcontinental. I live both in Los Angeles and in Deerfield Beach. Hence the Miami style jacket that I have today because we're going to be addressing style and I'm not talking about style for the pretentious assholes. Uh, my channel is not about that. It's, it, it, instead, it's about talking about well, style for real guys, guys like you, guys like me, because now that you're single, presentation is gonna be key. It's gonna matter more than ever. Included will be a few tips and I'll be recommending a few affordable items in the process. For those items, the link is going to be in the description uh, of the video. Like this shirt, for instance, you could get for 25 bucks. Now I'm 190, five foot 11, and this is a medium. The shirts come in large. So if you're watching, that's where they're gonna be at. And also if it's summer, don't leave your sleeves down, roll them up. And I'm not talking about the way your mom taught you back in the days, which is basically the basic fold, but rather do the master fold. Master Fold is going to make it look more natural as though you're not even trying and uh, this is an example of it and it's called Sprezzatura. Now, to that said, let me make it abundantly clear that style is not for snobs. That's what we normally think of when we think of style but because we're used to the Parisian snobs or, or fashion forward look. And I feel for that bullshit also because I'm a vest guy and, and I ordered this vest. 11 weeks later, I got it. Different material different color, even the pocket square. You can't do that because the, the, the pockets aren't functional. It's all bullshit. All that you're seeing there is all bullshit. It's a, it's a facade. So you need a realistic style because as discussed, you still need to remain relevant and you're single now. Now style has historically been seen as a feminine thing because as guys, our go-to has been shorts and t-shirts. But if you're going through the horse, Man, you need to step up that game like yesterday. You're single now and as a single guy, average, it can't exist in your vocabulary. That shit needs to be for the other guys, but you gotta start showing the high value male that you are. Let's face it, prior to our split, our life, it was just excrement. You probably aged, looked like shit because, well, you got all that build up stress and, and, and this happened to me before, when, before my ass kicking. I, I, I looked like shit. This was being in 2019. So what we do, right, is we start hitting the gym, but you're knee deep in shit because you also dress like a dad. So what you gotta do is you gotta start modernizing yourself. And now that you're single, that also includes upgrading your style. Now, remember that Facebook group I asked you to join? I asked them what they thought, that they, if they thought they would earn more money if they dressed up, and nearly a third of them said that they do indeed believe they would. However, the consensus in, in the comments were that they didn't need to because they wore uniform. But that's not the point. You still need to show up. Press the uniform. Again, you're single now. You have that obligation to yourself. When someone's dressed up, they're sending a signal to society that they're, they're high value, that they know how to take care of themselves, that they can go anywhere and fit it right in. And it also shows the type of confidence that they have, that they're not average because you're single now and you don't want to be average. Now, while I can't recommend glasses because they're so dependent on your facial features, I do recommend this Guayaveta over here. It's by Kufandi, $33. And again, you can get it in, the, in Amazon. The link is provided in the description section of this video. And a side note, here I'm back in LA, and of all places, I find myself uh, at my first wife place in Old Town Pasadena recording this video. And why am I telling you this? Because she and I, she and I, we went to war during our divorce. And now the irony is that no matter what, we realize we're always gonna be family. We grew up. No matter what's happening in your divorce, no matter how bad it's become, if you have kids together, 
don't hold on to that grudge. You'll just destroy each other. Now, let's get back to style. Although, let's face it, style doesn't improve much during our divorce. It's a legacy our fathers never left us with. It's always been seen as femme, and back then, to be called feminine and growing up was a questionable sexuality. It was incredibly ashamed and stigmatized. But fortunately, at these times, they've changed, and today's modern men, they're learning not only because they have to, but also because, well, they want to. And, and if they do, they will have a leg up on others. But let's face it, men, we don't like to shop. It sucks, time consuming, and it takes up way too much of our energy. Perhaps it would help if I back up a bit and address my approach to shopping because shopping can be exhausting. It's kind of like going to the gym for the very first time in your life and never really knowing what machines to use, what ways to use for what muscle groups to use. You get lost and discouraged. So here's what I do when I shop. Now it's my system, my own system. So if you have something else, share with us. First, when I get ready, I start by wearing clothing that are similar to what I'm already going to be looking for. So for instance, if I'm going to go shopping for a suit, I'm going to wear a button down shirt, slacks and shoes to that's going to that I'll probably be wearing with the with the suit. If I'm shopping for chinos, then I will wear other chinos and shoes to accompany them. Now, this is because if I'm going to buy a dress pants, let's say uh, I, and I wear high top shoes that I'm going to have no idea to the length of the pants. Also, while putting on a sports coat and with a t-shirt, I wouldn't have an idea of the, of the shoulders. Now, unless there's something specific that I'm going to try, I try to stay away from department stores like Nordstrom, Macy's, or Jay-Z Penney's. I don't give a shit if these stores are high-end and clean and just the fact that they carry like 20 different brands it doesn't follow the way my brain works. I could be looking at Isol one minute and then think Mutual Wave, then Van Heusen. We have way too many choices and we get lost in there trying to hit the fit. It could be exhausting and causing um, decision fatigue. Just too much shit going on in my head all at the same time. Then there's supply chain stores, which are the ones that, that I like the most and I often recommend them. These are the stores that carry their own brand. Those stores are like the Express, which I recommend often. American Eagle is another one. Hollister is a third one. I already know the brand. I have a good idea of their signature clothing and I go in and out. I'm able to make decisions much easier and faster and these are my go-tos. I got these Hollister, uh, uh, these pants at Hollister's. You'll notice they're, they're more of a straight cut and they're not officially cargo pants, but they do have pockets on the sides. And last, probably the most exhausting of the stores are the off-price retailers like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They have too much shit and way too disorganized. So let's take a look. That's like ADHD for me as they go through so much. They have just a lot going on. If I get lucky, I'll find something, but I usually end up buying it and just never wearing it. Which takes me to my next point. That if you're going to try something on and you don't love it at the store, don't buy it. Don't bother. You'll never use it. Now, there is one place that, that I've had much more success and luck than I ever expected. Thrift stores. But find one at a ritzy area because you get a lot better stuff, higher end stuff. For instance, I went to Boca Raton and do you remember that uh, green jacket that I was wearing? That was $5.50. And last, you got Amazon. Amazon I recommend often, been recommending them a lot here. They're the most consistent, that's why. And therefore, I'm always buying and returning items. This short sleeve button knit shirt, for instance, I got for 25 bucks, medium. You could get the link in the description section of this video. Look, you can't control your looks, but you can control how you present yourself. And what you can't deny that the benefits of dressing up helps you out in life. And if you think that's superficial, well, so is a girl with big ass titties. So don't be a hypocrite here. Before you say that it's because style shows that someone has money, let me clarify here. There's style and then there's fashion. I'd like to think I'm stylish. Style is what you wear and how you wear it. It doesn't come with a price tag or a branding logo. Fashion, on the other hand, fashion is much more about trends and the brands that you wear. Fashion does come at a price. Fashion's not my thing. I hate being told by someone that they just bought a new Armani. That to me is about as superficial as the search for my perfect tan. I'm getting there. I coach men on style, but if you bring up a brand, the only brand that I'm loyal to is, it's my own. It's for similar reasons that I don't even use an iPhone because frankly, I find fashion to be superficial. But everybody, everybody has style. 
I'm just here to coach it up. With style comes much more than just looks. With style comes sophistication, class, trust, and the belief that guys know how to handle themselves all the time, looking good doing it. When you dress up, your life's gonna get easier. And when you think about it, if you're going through the divorce, your life's hard enough already. So you owe it to yourself to step it up in style. When you're dressed up, you're more likely to get help from strangers to get a better paying job and like it or not, you will appear more trustworthy. Now you're probably wondering why so many different angles here. And that's because of the lighting. I kind of like doing this outside, it's something that I just learned to appreciate. I just put on my headphones and record while listening to jams. Something I would never expect it to, just like dressing up. And when you dress up, you're gonna get noticed. And as a divorce coach, I help men in their dating after the divorce and the results are fucking insane. Men are going to go from zero to two likes per week to 20 or more, and, and there's a reason for that. When it comes to pictures, looks, looks are only one third of the process while the quality of the picture is far more important. And by quality, I'm talking about the lighting, the posing, the grooming, the background, the image that you give and make, how you make them feel. And of course, what you're wearing. And, and that's why I tell guys not, and I repeat, not to hire a photographer to take their pictures because Photographers are about the picture, but not about making you look hot. And of course, what you wear along with how you wear it will get you there. So save your money and learn to take your own pictures and learn the difference between looking handsome versus looking hot. And by the way, when it comes to online dating, women were three and a half times more likely to message a guy who wore a well-tailored suit. Because as the saying goes, a well-tailored suit is to women as lingerie is to men. It just shows sophistication. A suit will function in a similar way that a good body does also. It broadens the shoulder, trims the waistline, and proportions your body as if you already had a great one. There's so much evidence showing the benefits of dressing up that not doing so is almost tantamount to you just not giving a shit, just giving up, and that's tragic right there. It's okay to validate yourself. You want her to regret her ass ever leaving you. You want her to second guess that decision, and believe me, you do this right, and she's going to be starting the flirtation process. But you'll be you'll be too busy because you've out, you've already outgrown her. Begin with the basics on style like fabric or fit or color coordination. It's not as difficult as others make it out to be. Recovery, and part of your recovery is both growth and looking after yourself. Don't buy outfits because you need new clothing, but because, well, they fit you. They fit you well. Because you're on a mission of reinventing yourself and dressing up is showing up. And it's growth. Try new outfits. Get your hands dirty. Experiments. Everything that I've recommended today is, is nothing abnormal, nothing strange. Try a thrift store. This is where I got this patch pocket uh, jacket, but this one was a little more expensive. It was uh, $12, something like that. Or try on this shirt, again, it's from Amazon it's for 25 bucks, and it is a medium. And probably the strongest pr the pr recommendation that I can give you as far as what to order is this collar stay right here. This collar, it comes in two sizes, and it, what it does, it keeps the collars from moving around. Um, it can be used for even polo shirts. Strongly recommend it. Gents, what I do with my clients is I coach and I develop their style. It's simply the gateway to meeting new people. And by people, I mean, I mean dates. My goal isn't to tell you what to wear, but to actually show you what to wear. What colors work with you as well as fit. Find inspiration with someone whose style you like, because I could assure you that they too are getting inspiration from others. Schedule one-on-one. -on -one. Begin your recovery. It's going to be the best, the most important call that you're going to make all year. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that, that it's life changing. The link is in the comment section underneath. Make sure you do so. Thank you very much.